your girl Shelly and today I'll be cooking brown stewed oxtail. These are the ingredients I'll be using. I'll be using six pounds of oxtail, one carrot, a piece of ginger, some scallion, two pegs of garlic, one and a half onion, some pieces of thyme, Grace Jamaican browning, some cooking oil, ketchup, and for my powdered seasoning, I'll be using Maggie All Purpose seasoning, but you can use any season of your choice. I'll also be using a little seasoning blend that's Nature's Seasons adobo all-purpose seasoning larry's and some allspice next thing i'll be doing i'll be washing the meat with some vinegar for right now i'll only be using one onion the scallion garlic and the thyme I'm just going to go ahead and add these to the blender. I'll add a little water and then I'll blend. Now guys, this is my blended seasoning. I'll be moving on to the seasoning of the meat. The first thing I'll be using is the lorries. Then the adobo seasoning, adobo all-purpose seasoning. Next, nature seasoning blend. Mix allspice, pimento berries. Next, all purpose Maggi seasoning. Then a little of the Grace Jamaican browning. Guys, this is the best way to control the amount of browning you throw on the meat or you put on the meat is for you to add a little to the cap of the bottle and then pouring it from the cap last but not least i'm going to go ahead and add my blended seasoning i'll just go ahead and combine everything together or i'll just mix in everything as we jamaican people would say I'll just go ahead, cover, and leave to marinate for about an hour. Guys, remember when adding salted powdered seasoning, less is best because it's easier to add more if needed than to add too much. Now that the meat has been marinated, let's start cooking. Next, I'll be adding about a teaspoonful of oil to the pressure cooker. I'll just leave it to preheat for a minute. Now I'll be adding the meat to the pot. So I've added the meat and I've also included the marinating seasoning. Now I'll just cover, leave to brown for a while. I'll stir occasionally just to make sure that the meat is not sticking in the pot. After browning for a while, I'm going to go ahead and add some boiling water. Then I'll cover and leave the pressure until tender. Guys, now that the meat has been cooked, I'll be adding the remaining of my ground seasoning, including my carrots. This is it, the other half of the onion. Carrot, thyme, ginger, and I've also added a piece of scotch bonnet pepper. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a little of the ketchup. Previously in the video, I forgot to mention that I'm going to be adding some butter beans. This is the butter bean I'll be using. I'll be using Allen's large butter bean. You can go ahead and use any butter bean of your choice. So I'm going to go ahead and add the butter beans. So I'm going to stir and combine everything together. I'll just lower the temperature and allow to cook for about 10 minutes. Guys, the oxtail is ready to serve. Guys, there you have it brown stewed oxtail